Hi viewers, welcome to Diksham channel. Learn mathematics easily. Consider the equation. The function f is such that f of x equal to a square x square minus ax plus 3b for x less than or equal to 1 by 2a where a and b are constants. The first one is uh, consider f of minus 2 equal to 4a square minus b plus 8 and f of minus 3 is 7a square minus b plus 14. We need to find the possible values of a and b. And the second question is when a equal to 1 and b equal to minus 1 we need to find the expression for f inverse of x and give the domain of f inverse of x. Now move on to the solution. So the given function is f of x equal to a square x square minus ax plus 3b. And we are given uh, x is less than or equal to 1 by 2a. Uh, consider f of minus 2 equal to 4a square minus b plus 8. And f of minus 3 equal to 7a square minus b plus 14. Now consider f of minus 2. So substitute here x as minus 2. So the left side we may get it as a square times minus 2 the whole square minus a times minus 2 plus 3b equal to 4a square minus b plus 8. So which implies 4a square minus of minus plus 2a plus 3b equal to 4a square minus b plus 8. So 4a square we can cancel. So 2a plus bring this minus b to the left side you will get 4b which is equal to 8. So a plus 2b equal to 4. This is one equation. Similarly here substitute x as minus 3 in this expression. So we make it a square minus 3 the whole square uh, minus a times minus 3 plus 3b equal to <coughs> 7a square minus b plus 14 which implies 9a square plus 3a plus 3b equal to 7a square minus b plus 14. So now we can simplify this. So 9a square plus 3a plus 3b minus 7a square plus b equal to 14. So 9 minus 7 is 2a square uh, plus 3a plus 4b equal to 14. So this is another equation and from the left side equation that is from this we can have a equal to 4 minus 2b. So substitute here 2 times 4 minus 2b the whole square plus 3 times 4 minus 2b plus 4b equal to 14. So which implies 2 times now apply the identity a minus b the whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So 16 minus 16b plus 4b square plus 12 minus 6b plus 4b equal to 14. So which implies 32 minus 32b plus 8b square plus 12 minus 6b plus 4b equal to 14. So which implies 8b square minus 32 minus 6 is minus 38 plus 4 is minus 34b and 32 plus 12 is 44 plus 44 equal to 14. So 8b square minus 34b plus 44 minus 14 equal to 0. So which implies 8b square minus 34b plus 30 equal to 0. Now divide throughout this by 2. We will get 4b square minus 17b plus 15 equal to 0. From this b equal to 17 that is we are applying the formula uh, x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So 17 plus or minus square root of 
17 square minus 4 into 4 multiplied by 15 divided by 2 into 4 which is equal to 17 plus or minus square root of 17 square is 289 minus 240 divided by 8 which is equal to 17 plus or minus root 49 by 8 so which is equal to 17 plus or minus 7 divided by 8 which is 7 minus 7 by 8 comma 17 plus 7 divided by 8 which is equal to 17 minus 7 is 10 by 8 comma 24 by 8 so which is equal to 5 by 4 comma 3 so these two are the points values of uh, b now take b equal to 5 by 4 and b equal to 3 so substitute here in the above equation so we'll get a equal to 4 minus 2 times 5 by 4 which is equal to 4 minus 10 by 4 so 16 minus 10 is 6 by 4 which is equal to 3 by 2 so the set of points will be 3 by 2 comma 5 by 4 and another one here take b equal to 3 therefore a equal to 4 minus 2 into 3 so 4 minus 6 which is equal to minus 2 hence the points are minus 2 and 3 and in the second part take a equal to 1 and b equal to minus 1 Here take a, a equal to 1 and b equal to minus 1 in a, a square x square minus ax plus 3b. This is f of x. So this one will become as x square minus x minus 3. So now we have f of x equal to x square minus x minus 3 and it is given x is less than or equal to 1 by 2a so which implies x is less than or equal to 1 by 2. <coughs> From this we can have the domain of x is 1 by 2 and we have to find the range. So to find the range substitute the values of x as 1 by 2, 0 etc and f of x uh, we have to find it out. So while substituting here 1 by 2, we will get 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 minus 3 which is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 12 divided by 4 which is equal to minus 13 by 4. And if we take x as 0, we will get minus 3. And if we take x as uh, 3, f of x is 3 square minus 3 minus 3. So, which is equal to uh, 9 minus 6, which is 3. Hence, it goes on like this. So, it will turn on into a positive value. So, hence, from this we can have the range is f of x greater than or equal to minus 13 by 4. That is the range. Now we need to find the f inverse of x. Here f of x is x square minus 6 minus 3. So now take this as y. y equal to x square minus 6 minus 3. Now interchange the variables. So we will get x equal to y square minus y minus 3. We can rearrange this as y square minus y minus 3 minus x equal to 0. So y equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 times minus 3 minus 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 times 3 plus 6 divided by 2 
which is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 12 plus 4x divided by 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 13 plus 4x divided by 2. From this we can have f inverse of x equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 13 plus 4x divided by 2 and the domain is domain of f inverse is f of f inverse of x greater than or equal to minus 13 by 4. If you are comfortable, kindly like, subscribe and press the bell button for further notifications. Thank you.